Hey there, Jerry Shepard, the Bug Doctor with PestCemetery.com. A question I get a lot on the route and on my website is, do bugs really use the electrical lines and plumbing lines to get into a home? And the answer is obviously yes. I find that ants use it most effectively because they're so tiny and they can just follow the lines in between the holes and the studs and whatnot. But roaches also will come down from the attic and a lot of times you can pull the uh, uh, light switch covers off and you'll find spiders, lizards, uh, big, big roaches. But most often ants are uh, famous for this kind of thing. And in this home, we have just that. So what I have is I have my traditional insecticide liquid and all of my products that I could use just to wipe these things out and uh, the customer will be happy, dead bugs everywhere. But does that really solve the problem inside? Short of tearing the wall out or drilling a small hole and puffing some dust in there, there's not a whole lot you can do on the surface. So you've got to try to get in or find out how they're accessing this wall, where they're going to. Maybe it's another uh, access point like where the cable line or phone line comes in. So you want to treat that as well. Perhaps it's underneath the um, windowsill or around the window. In this case, as I'll show you in a minute, they're just coming right up underneath the siding up and over the sill plate and on in and for whatever reason today they're just coming out looking for some food so I'm going to go ahead and treat this and you want to be careful anytime you're dealing with electricity I always keep a little screwdriver on hand and these little screws get lost so you want to hang on to them but there we can see just a ton of little tiny black ants uh, and like I said all kinds of different ants will use this access into a home. It's sometimes not as pronounced, it'll just be a straight line of pharaoh ants or something but today we've got our little black ants and I'm going to block them off from this with a little shot of dust. You could use bait if you wish. It's not the cleanest operation in the world, but all you need is a slight film. Those guys are going to be dead. I'll use a, a non-residual aerosol and we'll kill all these guys. I'll treat a couple of the other um, light switches and then I'll go outside and show you what we got. Recently I did a video called uh, Bait and Switch Those Ants and the technique is the same except we don't really need the bait today. As you can tell, they're all over on the inside. There's a steady stream of them coming uh, right down the insulation um, siding and then right up and in. They've also got access with a pipe here that goes into the wall. But generally it's just so easy. You can see a nice trail of them going right up and in and right up and under. And my guess is you can see the wood is just a little bit weathered. It's offered uh, the moisture that they need, so this has just been a nice, happy place for them to be with all the moisture, and they just carry the food on in. So I'm pretty sure they'll ha they have their nest centered right inside this wall. So rather than use the traditional insecticide approach, we just used a non-repellent. Today I'm using a Rillon. Uh, Termidor is labeled for this, and there are some other products. I don't want to kill these guys out here right away. I did on the inside because the customer is going to walk in and see those and uh, freak out. So out here I'm going to actually be more devastating to the colony with my non-repellent right along the trail line. A few of them get a little bit wet, kind of freaked out, but it won't kill them right away. They'll pick it up on their bodies and as they share it with uh, their communication, talking to each other, uh, feeding each other, they'll share my product and all of these guys in here will eventually crash and die without all the destruction and everything to the wall. We'll just let them do the work for us. Hey, that's a quick way to get rid of uh, ants inside a wall. And this has been Jerry Shaver, the Bug Doctor with PestCemetery.com. Thanks so much for enjoying my blog. And I'm going to come in and spray.